as you can see here i have my own newly made portfolio so my plan is to implement uh, react bits so anyone here uh, who already hear the react bits so my plan is to implement it with my new next js project so my goal is to create at least implement this onto my new uh, new portfolio so first thing first is let's go to react bits at first bah, we should have a uh, running an xjs so or anyone here who who does not have any xjs project you can just create it through installation So just do this and make sure that you have implemented this. So once it is running, uh, you can directly go here at our React Bits. Uh, first, we have two options here, which is to use JavaScript or TypeScript. So currently, I am using TypeScript. So you just have to click this and refresh. If there is no changes, you can see you just need to refresh so that the code here will be on uh, TypeScript implementation. So as you can see, here, uh, in default, it is on the CSS main code. But you just need to click here if you are using Tailwind. So currently, Next.js, uh, the Next.js project I have made is already implemented with Tailwind. So you just need to uh, create component first. So I'm going to create a folder, animations, and let's go with rotating text. Rotating text. Dot TSX. And copy this. Uh, first, uh, you need to install this Framer Motion. So I have already installed it at my package. Uh, Framer Motion. So I have already installed it. You just need to install it. Once you have installed it, you just need to uh, choose the Tailwind and copy the code and put it into your newly created components. As you can see here, uh, there is no code error or warnings. First, so we have created it and let's go to my main code, which is here at my end progress. So let's go here. I'm just gonna type the in progress. Where are you in progress? This is the page. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna comment now and implement our code here. First is to copy this. You just need to copy this rotating text component. So it's gonna cause an error, but let's rotating text and use the component animation rotating text so you can see here as you can see uh, the rotating text is now implemented so that's how easy it is to implement these react bits onto the next GS project so depending on your implementation so I have my already made code here so I'm just gonna copy it so in progress, I'm just gonna use this uh, mid cool span and copy this code. Wait, okay, dev. So, so this is how it looks like now. As you can see, this is my final looks of my implementation of uh, React Bits. So anyone who is struggling to implement it with the next JS, uh, you just you can just do it this way. And I think that's all for everyone. Thank you.